This year, peregrine bird tours visited West Island on Ashmore Reef in a remote corner of the Indian Ocean. Ashmore was fought over by the British and the US for guano in the late 1800s, but finally given to the Commonwealth in 1934. Today, it's home to thousands of seabirds. Oh, this is Ashmore Reef. It's a world-class reserve and Ramsar site. It's only 50 miles in that direction to put our roti off Indonesia and we're about 150 miles, maybe 200 miles from the Australian coastline in this direction. Um, it's a haven for wildlife. We've just been spending some time watching a, a Middendorf's grasshopper warbler from Japan and we reckon three grey streaked flycatchers, another bird from Central Asia. <laughs> I can see it. The island itself is, is fringed by uh, bushes, these are, are goosier bushes. Um, the centre of it is mostly open grassland. It's, it's um, all in all an amazing place, incredibly remote and, and a beautiful place to visit, a real privilege. Ashmore is a landing point for southbound migrant birds that overshoot Asia like this Arafura fantail. This generates excitement amongst birders keen to find something new. <laughs> This year the weather was quite stormy, bringing an unusual assemblage of birds like this white-winged black tern and a tiger shrike, Australia's third only record. For the most part though, Ashmore's home to hundreds of reef egrets and nesting green turtles.